Hi guys, welcome to the Passports and Visas YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss going to Mexico. Mexico is by far the most popular destination for Americans, and we often get the question of, do I need a passport? Which that answer depends. So let's go ahead and get started and dive right into this. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're going to be traveling to Mexico and you're determining whether you need a passport or not, it all depends on how you're getting there. So if you're flying, there's different requirements. If you're traveling by car or by boat, there's different requirements. And if you're going by a cruise, there's different requirements. And then also, if you are somewhat under the age of 16, there's also different requirements. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you're flying into Mexico, you're definitely going to need a valid passport book. That is the requirement. So this is a passport book right here. It's got pages in it like this. When, you're, when you have your valid passport book, there's really sort of two things that are uh, important in this. The first thing is that it's valid, meaning that the expiration date of the passport is past the date that you're entering, meaning uh, that it's, it has not expired. Um, th there are many places that have a six month rule and what that means is that the passport has to be valid for an additional six months. In this case, that's not the case. Mexico doesn't enforce that rule. So as long as the passport is valid, you should be good to go. The second thing is, is the passport pages. So you need to have one blank page for the authorities to go ahead and stamp your passport. But that's all that you need when you're flying to Mexico. You definitely need to have a book, it needs to be valid, and needs to have a blank page. Also, when you enter Mexico, you're going to apply for an FMT, uh, which is sort of like a visa on arrival, which basically gives you access to Mexico for up to 180 days. As a reminder, if you like the information that you're getting, uh, we'd love you to subscribe to this channel and like this video. We'd really appreciate it. We'll keep kicking out content like this. All right, so the next option is, is if you're traveling to Mexico via car. So you're crossing the border through uh, Texas or Arizona or California, and you're just heading there via car for maybe a day trip or something like that. So the requirements are a little bit different. So in the case of traveling by car, you can obviously use your passport book, but you can also use a passport card, which is the size of a driver's license and is useful for also traveling across the border in a car. Um, you can also use an enhanced driver's license which is only available in four states, but if you have access to one of those and you have an enhanced driver's license, you can drive across the border with that. So to recap, um, in order to travel across the Mexico border via a car, you can have a passport book, a passport card, or an enhanced driver's license. And all of those have to be, of course, valid. They can't be expired. Uh, but if you have one of those, then you should be good to go. So if you're traveling to Mexico via sea or via the ocean, it's kind of two options with that one. So if you're on sort of a private boat, you have to have the same thing as via a car. So a valid passport book, a valid passport card, or an enhanced driver's license will, will be utilized in order for you to travel via a boat into Mexico. Also, if you're traveling via a cruise, which is sort of a little bit different than a boat, but it's just a bigger boat. <laughs> um, so if you're traveling via a cruise, um, most popular cruises are called closed looped cruises, which means that you're traveling to Mexico from the United States, going and doing your seven day cruise, and then coming back to the US, um, to back to the same port that's considered a closed loop cruise. And in that scenario, uh, you can utilize a birth certificate. Um, a certified birth certificate from the United States to prove your citizenship along with a driver's license. Um, it's not recommended though. None of the cruise lines recommend this for a variety of different reasons and we'll get into that in a different video. Um, but in the case of cruises, you have basically four options. You can use a passport book, passport card, an enhanced driver's license, or you can use a certified birth certificate. So let's talk about children that are traveling to Mexico. Um, children are defined as under the age of 16 in this situation. If you're traveling via air, um, you need to have a passport book still. Um, that still is the same as an adult. But if you're traveling via car or via sea, 
Then you also have the ability just to use a birth certificate. So if you're traveling with your parents and you're under the age of 16, you can use a certified birth certificate issued by a government agency in the United States. So if you're at, traveling via flight, again, you just need the passport book. If you're traveling via car or sea, then you can use the book, you can use the passport card, you can use a certified birth certificate um, if you're traveling with your parents. So hopefully this helped clean up a little bit of the information regarding uh, needs to go to Mexico and the requirements of the various travel documents covering the need when you need to get a passport book if you're flying. And if you're going by car or you're going by sea, then you can also use a passport card. You also can use an enhanced driver's license. If you're under the age of 16 or if you're going on a cruise that's a closed loop cruise, then you can just use a birth certificate. Of course, most of the times it's best just to have the passport book, and we can certainly help you with that if you need to get one fairly quickly. Um, but hopefully this information is helpful for you. And again, if you love this content, please like the video. If you have any questions, make sure to make any comments down below and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.